हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज सबसिक्वेंस सो इन योर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट यू आर गिवन टू स्टीम दैट इज वन इज एस एंड अनदर इज टी एंड हेयर यू हैव टू चेक एस स्ट्रिंग इज सबसिक्वेंस ऑफ टी स्टिंग और नॉट इफ एस इज सबसिक्वेंस ऑफ स्ट्रिंग टी देन यू हैव टू रिटर्न ट्रू अदरवाइज यू हैव टू रिटर्न फॉल्स so what is subsequence means so basically a subsequence of a string is a new string which which one is formed from the original string by deleting uh, some of the characters and uh, uh, without uh, disturbing the position of the remaining character okay uh, so okay uh, let's understand so suppose check for abc so check abc is present in this sequence or not in this we will search this string s in string t and this uh, this sequence is is matched in string t or not so first i will check from a is matched yes a is matched so after a there is any b yes after a, there is another b so after b there another c yes there is another c so if we delete unmatched character then we can say uh, s is a sequence of string t so in this case we will return our answer as a true if our s is a b s a b c x okay then we will check our s s sequence in t first abc abc already matched and then when we are looking for x there is no x so we can say a string is not subsequence cause there is no x character so for this in this time we will return false as our answer and there is another three cases suppose your a string is empty then then your answer will be then your answer will be true if your a string is empty because there is no character in string so if you delete all character then we will got uh, this blank character blank string okay so if our s is null then we can we will return true as our answer so okay uh, another case is if our t is null if our t is null in this case when our t is null then we will return false because we have something in s but but our t string is null so in this case we will we, we cannot say we cannot say our s is subsequence of t cause t is null and s have some character okay so this time we will return if our t is null then this time this time we will return false okay there is another case that is if our s t s s and t both are null in this case we will return true cause this is also null and this is also null i hope now problem statement is clear to you so now i will move to solution part uh, my first approach is uh, using dynamic programming so using dynamic programming we can easily able to solve this problem so but this is not efficient for both space and time but uh, you will understand how we can able to solve it using bottom up dynamic programming approach uh, first i will take uh, alien t plus 1 size of column and alien s plus 1 size of row and initially uh, i put 0 into it after that uh, we will start our iteration 
from row 1 to alien s plus 1 and column 1 to alien t plus 1 so our first row uh, our first row value is a and first column that is also a so means 1 1 both are a so when our both character matched so this time we will pick the diagonal value that is 0 and add 1 with it so when the row character matched with the column character then we will pick diagonal value and add 1 with it now I will move to next column so a is not, not matched with this so I just put the maximum of this 3 for all for all uh, column okay maximum of this 3 1 maximum of this 3 1 again maximum of maximum of this this and this that is 1 and again we'll put maximum of this this and this this is 1 okay now we'll move to next row that is b so check b is matched with a no so maximum of this 3 that is 1 so if it is not matched then we'll only put the maximum of this 3 1 this 3 maximum of this 3 okay and now we'll move to next row so that is b and h b and h not matched so again i will put maximum of this 3 so b b matched with b so if if, if this character is matched with this character then we will take the diagonal value here diagonal value is this one one diagonal value plus one so if it is matched with if row is matched with column then only we take our diagonal value and add add one and update the value one plus one that is two means our two sequence matched still now our two sequence matched from a to up to this so now i will move to next column so maximum of cos p is not matched so maximum of this three so that is two so maximum of this three that is two so maximum of this three that is two so now we'll move to next row okay so maximum of this three one uh, maximum if if our if our s is abc and our t is a then then our only one character that is matched with our t string that is a itself okay so maximum of this three so now we will take all same maximum of this three and again check this is a c is not matched with so again maximum of this three that is two again maximum of this three two cos c is not matched so maximum of this three now c is matched with now row is matched with column so whenever row is matched with column then we will take the diagonal value that is 2 uh, plus 1 so now it will be 3 and now what we will check we will we will take this value we will take this value and calculate the length of this length of s is length of s is equal to this value if length of s is equal to this value means the sequence is matched sequence is matched in t means s is sequence of t so if the length and this value is equal okay then we will return true if, if this value suppose this value is 2 and this length is 3 then we will return false okay so I hope uh, you got it so now we will explain explain another approach so uh, this approach uh, time comp time and space complexity is order of alien s into alien t uh, it will take order of 
alien s into alien t time and space so now i will optimize it so we can able to solve it with order of order of uh, t time complexity and order of one space complexity okay let's move to another approach so our next approach is uh, first we will take we will take two pointer that is i equals to zero and j equals to zero i will point uh, to a string and j will point to t string so we will start our iteration from this zero to so we will take a while loop and check while our i is less than ln s then we will check our j is greater equals to when our pointer is greater than the length of this uh, this t then we will simply return false cause uh, uh, s is not a sequence of t cause uh, we are we are cross the length of this t so alien t okay so now we will return false this time we will return false okay and next is when our character matched okay suppose this is matched with this okay then we will increment our pointer if if s i equals to equals to t j then we i i equals to, sorry i plus equals to 1 okay okay if if our s character matched with t character okay and at last we'll always increment the j pointer okay so we check we we check uh, one character uh, when we when we check this one so we traverse whole the whole the t whole the t string okay so that's why here i increment this j pointer so at the end we will return true uh, outside of this while loop we will return true i hope uh, you understood the solution uh, now we will move to implementation part in our implementation first i will write the base case if not t i will return false if not s will return true okay now we will create a 2d matrix and put zero into it so i in range ln t plus 1 and for j in range ln s plus 1 means ln s uh, size plus 1 row and ln t plus 1 column so now we check iterate uh, through row for row r in range ln s plus 1 ln s plus 1 and for c define here columns c in range 1 to ln t plus 1 and now we check if our character is matched if our s character is matched with t if s r minus 1 is t c minus 1 here we starting our iteration from 1 so we reduce r minus 1 and c minus 1 okay so if our character matched then then we pick the diagonal value so dp r minus 1 c minus 1 mean diagonal value plus 1 and if it is not matched then we will pick the diagonal diagonal value left side value and upper value maximum of three value that is upper diagonal and left side value okay and we will update this 
cell and at the end at the end we will check at the end we will check if our dp last row column value is matched with this length of s means s sequence is present in t if this is matched the dp row column last last value is matched with length of s then we will we can say this is true so now we will submit it we are wrong answer yep why it is wrong cause here we check false condition first cause if the s and t both are null then we will return true okay got it so if both string is null then we will return true now we will move to another approach that is more optimized approach first i will declare two pointer that is i and j equals to zero uh, while our i lesser equals to length of s then uh, i will check our j is uh, if our j is greater than alien t means uh, s is not a sequence of t then we will return false if our s character matched with t character then we will increment increment our i pointer cause i pointer point to s a string 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 and j pointer point to three string cause if one character match then we will check next character next s character now we will return at the end of this while loop we will return true now we will check our code is working or not yeah got accepted thank you for watching this video please consider subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon